very, very busy news day. As you've noticed, I've released two news videos on today. A lot of news to go through. In this one, we will talk about how it sounds like Haley Deegan will not be racing at the Chicago Street Course. I do not know if this is going to be a permanent thing. We're also going to be talking about tires as Tyler Reddick released some pretty great information about the Goodyear tire test he had at Watkins Glen International just a few days ago. And also, it sounds like there is a potential we could have the option tires make a return. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about Haley Deegan being taken out of the number 15 and what do you also make about these two different tire stories? Let me know down below. Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. All right, let's try to split up these tire stories. I can't believe I'm doing two separate tire stories during the same video. But tires, I would say, have been the big talking point this season, especially since Bristol. I feel like that's all everybody really wants to talk about. That's all I really want to talk about. The tires seem to make all the difference in the world when it comes to the racing in our sport. Let's start with what Tyler Reddick said on Actions Detrimental this week as he did have a tire test that he was involved with at Watkins Glen International earlier on in the week. And listen to what he had to say about the tire fall off that we had with one of the potential tires. We had the, the tire test at Watkins Glen and uh, one of their Devo tires um, it was, it was really, imp I mean, Watkins Glen's always been a place where you fight to have any sort of fall off. Yeah. And, and one of the tires I had there for us, I mean, I think it had like, I think it was like four seconds to fall off over Whoa. 20 laps. What? Yeah. It's, so I think they're getting closer. Now that is completely insane. You even heard Denny Hamlin go like, whoa. Like he was surprised by that. 20 laps, only 20 laps around Watkins Glen International Four whole seconds of fall off. I don't know if that's four seconds exactly. It could have been a little less, a little bit more. But that is amazing. And I don't know if I necessarily want that much fall off with the tires. Something is, We need something like that. That's better than what we got. Because if some of you remember Watkins Glen last season, there was no passing. Wherever you were running, that's where you were going to run the whole race. Unless someone moved you out of the way or... You, had a, you made a certain strategy call because it was impossible to pass. Everybody was running the same speed. It didn't matter if you had five lap old tires or 20 or 30 lap old tires. Everybody was running the exact same all day. And it's, it was a debate between Watkins Glen and Sonoma on what was the worst race of last season. I'd say it was Sonoma, but Watkins Glen was... A very close second and I think the idea is here that there's been a lot of complaints about the road course racing since moving to the next gen the next gen was supposed to improve the road course racing. and I think it's made it easier and the cars definitely drive better on the road courses but everyone's just so even like they're wishing on parity but when it comes to the road courses that's why you don't see a lot of these road course drivers really stand out. I think that that's what also makes Shane Van Gisbergen even more impressive. But you don't even see a lot of these other drivers stand out, like a Chase Elliott, like an AJ Allmendinger, even a driver like Kyle Larson. You've seen a lot of these drivers who do you expect to be out front battling for the win all day at road courses. And sometimes they're just stuck in 10 or 15th place behind drivers that in my opinion, usually aren't very good at road courses. And also, Watkins Glen has joined the playoffs this year. So I know NASCAR want 
to have a more entertaining product for Watkins Glen than they had last year. I think no matter what tire they bring to Watkins Glen this year, this year's race will probably be better than last year's event unless we bring the exact same tire, which I'm positive is not happening. But this gets me pretty excited for Watkins Glen International. I do not think, it didn't sound like during the podcast that this was the tire they were bringing to Watkins Glen. Tyler Reddick, just to give a little background of what was going on during that part of the podcast, Tyler Reddick was saying that Goodyear is really trying to improve their product. And Hamlin was kind of doubling down on that. Both of them were saying that Goodyear is trying to improve the fall off, improve these the tire wear on these tires. And like I said, I don't think we're going to get four seconds of fall off at Watkins Glen, but I'd expect some sort of tire that does produce some sort of fall off and a dramatically more entertaining event this year than we had in years past. All right, let's get to our next story. I feel like a lot of people are talking about this on social media, as they should. One of NASCAR's most popular drivers. I think she has the most subscribers on YouTube out of every driver, something like that. She won the most popular driver in the truck series and is a big-time figure in our sport, and that is Haley Deegan. It has been no secret that Haley Deegan has really struggled ever since moving to the major ranks of NASCAR. She had some success in ARCA, SRX. She also performed really well as well, has performed really well climbing the ranks up to NASCAR. Really, really struggled in the truck series. Has also struggled deeply in the Xfinity series. It's been really unfortunate to watch. So this week at the Chicago Street Course, because the number 15 has to qualify in, and also you have a bunch of cup drivers in the field, including Ty Gibbs, Kyle Larson, John Hunter Nemechek, amongst others in the field, some cup drivers really want to get a bunch of practice for the cup event. So I don't know if... Logano approached AM Racing or AM Racing approached Logano, but Joey Logano will be replacing Haley Deegan in the number 15 at the Chicago Street Course. Obviously, I don't think Logano in the number 15 is permanent. From what it sounds like, it's to improve their race team from this point forward and also to assure a spot in the Chicago race. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to be a permanent move. I don't know if we should expect Haley Deegan to be back in the number 15 car this season. It sounded like from the press release that she'll probably be back next the week after Chicago. But this is just a real bad look and real unfortunate to see. Like I said, though, I guess it's not a huge surprise because out of all the full-time drivers in the Xfinity series, I'd say she's probably been the one that struggles the most i even saw a graphic earlier that she's actually behind eric elmarola in points and she's ran the full season elmarola's only ran like five races i mainly brought this up as a discussion point because i'm a huge fan of Haley deegan i really enjoy seeing her out there on the racetrack she has a lot of passion been unable to really get a handle on these cars and just It's really struggling with the competition because we've seen her perform at the ARCA level. To be fair, she wasn't facing a bunch of hard competition. But we've also seen her perform at the SRX level. And you have some legendary drivers in that series. A lot of those drivers, of course, are retired. But she has proven that she has some sort of talent. And it's just, it's real unfortunate to see her perform as poorly as she does. Because I feel like every single week she's either running 25th to 30th, just running really awful, or she's up there around 15th. And when she's around there around 15th, she ends up getting caught up in somebody else's mess. And it's just, it's real unfortunate to see. I really hope Haley Deegan continues to get opportunities here and there. I don't know about necessarily getting a full-time opportunity again at the end of the season, but maybe she can pull... A Joe Graff sort of thing. Put a bunch of money together 
and try to get a couple of starts in an amazing car like a Joe Gibbs racing car, like a junior motorsports car. Because I think that's really your only path at this point, and it's really unfortunate to see because, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Haley Deegan. I think a lot of us want to see her succeed in this sport, but the competition is really high, and she just has not been performing. She was not good in the truck series, and she hasn't performed at all in the Xfinity series. And it's, we'll have to see what the future is for her and AM Racing after this week at Chicago. Does AM Racing go back to Haley Deegan? Do they maybe get a different Cup Series driver in the car? Do they maybe get a driver that's been struggling to find a ride in their car. Maybe they go after Brett Moffitt again because Moffitt did pretty well in that car last year. We'll have to see what the future holds for this race team and a fan favorite like Haley Deegan. And the final story I have to talk about, I'm going to go back to the tires as we're talking more about tires. On door bumper clear this week, it sounds like NASCAR was pretty fond of the option tire as I think a lot of us were, fi- were fond of the option tire, but it sounds like at Richmond Raceway that they're actually going to bring the option tire back out. I don't know if they're going to be running two separate tires. It sounds like that's probably what they're going to do. I don't know if they should do this in a points race. It's gonna, It's just another kind of rule change sort of thing, but at the same time, I want NASCAR to figure out how to improve the short track product, especially at Richmond. Richmond holds close to my heart. I've been to Richmond many times. It's my home track, I would consider. And the racing has been awful there. Even before the next gen car, it's been awful there for a very, very long time. Ever since they put whatever that substance is on the racetrack all those years ago, it's just, it hasn't been the same. And it's been really unfortunate to watch. But it sounds like NASCAR is going to be willing to try something at the upcoming Richmond race in August. They're going to be trying the option tire. We'll have to see how that goes. And if that actually comes to fruition, I don't know if it actually happens. Not everything said on door bumper clear always happens, unfortunately. So we'll have to see if this actually happens. But it is very interesting. and It's a very interesting talking point. Would all of you be okay with them running an option tire in a points event at Richmond Raceway? Let me know down below. But give me all your thoughts on this video. Are you excited for Watkins Glen? What do you think the future is for Haley Deegan? And do you think they should bring back the option tire in a points race? No less. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.